Welcome back to another episode of the Stevie Weeby Show. We have a very special guest tonight. Please welcome, for the first time on the podcast, the other co-host of the Online Forever podcast, Sydney Summers. What's hey, up? Thanks for coming. Thanks for the serenade. Thanks for coming in the um, rain. Cats and dogs out there. Yeah. Torrential, if you Are will. you used to this kind of weather? Um, I feel like my two years in LA, I'm feeling a bit entitled to the sun at this point. Really? But um, it does rain a lot where I'm from. Where are you originally from? I'm from Arkansas. Whoa. Not known as the rainiest our, place. Our, our first guest from Arkansas. <gasps> wow. What is Represent. it? What is it like in Arkansas? Um, it is a lot of forests. Mm-hmm. Very, um, very nature. It's it's the natural state. Yeah. So a lot of corn. Are there people of my kind over there? We got a few. We got a few. There's, there's a fir- there's a big uh, medical uh, hospital. Really? Yeah, school. So are there's the Koreans, so. Vietnamese, Japanese. Um, there's a lot of Koreans and a lot of Chinese folks. Not a lot of Japanese folks I know, but really? I did used to work for some Japanese ladies there. Really? So, yeah. What's the major city there? Little is Little, it Rock. Little, Little Rock, yeah. Arkansas. Yeah. Okay. What are the three best things that you miss about Arkansas? Um, I miss how slow it is, but at the same time, I love how not slow it is here. But it's nice. It's just, this place is... Yeah. Yeah. Really snappy, for sure. You don't miss that that slow, that sleepy town feel? I do miss it, but I also, like, I feel like there's a lot of advantages to to living somewhere a little snappier, of course. Really? Yeah. Um, Do you still have friends and family there in Arkansas? Yeah, really all my family is there. Mm -hmm. Can we give them a shout out to your... Shout out to my family. Shout out to her family. Thanks for doing this. Shout (laughs) them out. Um, And so what made you want to move to the West Coast? Um, Mostly I was coming out here a lot for work. Mm -hmm. um, And some in the adult industry, but also just mostly a lot of social media, all Mm -hmm, that good mm -hmm, stuff, the mm -hmm. podcast. Um. Yeah, and cosmically, actually, kind of a funny, s- crazy story. But I found out like a month before I moved here that my biological father, who I never knew about, is from here and lives here. What? Yeah, so that was also kind of a strange <laughs> phenomenon that happened. I did guess. Did you? Uh, did you actually uh, link up with him? We did link one time. Mm-hmm. Okay, I want to know. I want to hear about that experience. What? Well, I mean, okay. what was that? How was that? It was. It was. I don't think I could describe it in just one word. It was a very strange evening. I flew my little brother out. We were b- we both came from this man and never knew. He was a sperm donor. You, yeah, okay. Should I look over oh, here? No, no. Can I shout out your bro? Shout out my bro? Shout out little bro. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He'll appreciate yeah, that. Yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. for sure. Will you watch it? Um, I'm going to make him watch oh, it yeah, now yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make him watch it. Make him watch it. Yeah. <laughs> he watches my podcast sometimes, but he's like, I don't know how I feel about it, which is understandable, I guess. So, <laughs> so. so he was a donor? Your father was a donor? Yes. And it was Prolific just, donor. What's the difference between a a regular donor and a prolific donor? Well, he donated I don't know how many times, but at least dozens, if not more, to other families and stuff. To many facilities. So is that was <laughs> his side hustle? <laughs> um, yes, basically, he was he's a comedian. He's a comedian out here, actually, kind of weird. And that's how he made his dough. Yeah, is donating For a while. his sperm. Mm-hmm. I never even thought that was a, that could be a side hustle. He's really tall. That's and why. Yes. Because you're they jeans. Want, cause yeah. You're, yeah. Because you're a tall glass of water. I mean, you <laughs> know. You. Yeah. I mean, that was a compliment. Yeah. Yeah. He's like. He's got good jeans. Tall. And so what kind of. Je- so uh, he, 
<laughs> is he from Nordic? Like, is he from Norway or where is his gene pool? You from? know, weirdly, like Irish and Polish. I didn't know that Irish Polish? people were even tall. Polish people, I could see. I thought it was Norwegian. I thought maybe you had more of the. Oh, thank you. I Viking get that a lot class. sometimes. Like, you know, like very Irish. You, uh, you have Irish. Yeah. So a lot. Ir- Irish, Polish, Polish, German. You know. German. Yeah. Anything else in there? A little English. A little English. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, Scottish, maybe a little bit. No Scottish. No Scottish. No. Yeah, is it kind of? It's kind of toasty. Yeah, I'm here. Gonna, yeah, yeah. You could. I might have to do that too. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry because I have the. Okay. See, I have the heater there, and I have the. I I have the heater. What was that? Is there a mic off? No, it's a watch the. Oh, watch the drink. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> we'll get to your tattoos. I just got one too. One. You want oh. me to show you my new tattoo? Yeah, yeah. Show oh, me. Yeah. I just got some today yeah. too. Oh, That's really? so funny. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. I saw you post that. Yeah. You just got it? I just got it. It's a bat. Oh, and then I like this. The my spider. Yeah, yeah. So that was, I like how, so shout out to my friend B, B- Brian. He added a, a Ryan, sorry, Ryan from Roller's uh, Tattoo Shop in Chinatown. He added, this is my favorite part. And Genius. he did it on the fly. He's like, should I add something? What if I? Yeah. He just kind of. Really gives like some weight and gravity yeah, to it, you know? Yeah, you see yeah. it's going in that direction. What about you? What was your new one? Um, I got these two today. I got a frog. Oh, that's dope. And I got a clown. Damn, oh, that's fun. tight. Thank you. I feel like we kind of look alike. Aren't tattoos fun? Uh, hmm. <laughs> 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 they get less. I slow like the clown. Let me see the clown. I love the clown. Yo, so that came out clean. Baby. That's that. That's traditional style. Yeah, I like this. Yeah, thing. Thank you. <laughs> I want to get a clown now. You should get a clown. Yeah. Did that hurt? Right. Mm. Did that hurt on the inside <gasps> a little? Yes, my brother. Yeah. I drew this. Yeah. I drew this. <laughs> that's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, to the people out there who wanna, who are scared to get their first tattoo, like. <laughs> What kinds of word of advice do, would you give them? Like, get one or two, and then the ga- the floodgates are gonna open up. For that's what happened to me. I feel like that's what happens to most people. Okay, yeah, because I kind of addicted. So obviously. I got I got a tape, and then I got this. This is like my Noble Hops old hip hop crew, and my name in Korean. And then once I got one on each, I go fuck it. Here we go. I'm just gonna. <laughs> <laughs> I start. Then I got the Ewok. Then I, you know, yeah. But do you just have your you arms. Got, uh, yeah, I'm gonna. My, I want to get some on my leg next time. Nice. Yeah. Oh, I don't want to forget about your pops, though. I want. I want to hear okay. about that. Okay. So your <laughs> pops. Um, yeah. <laughs> prolific donor. Prolific donor. Uh, well established. <laughs> Let Let's hear about the reunion. Okay. So, I've done improv since I was like a little kid, like mm-hmm. before I was even a teenager, mm-hmm. and yeah, we found out basically he does improv out here too. So I flew my little brother out and we went to go see one of his improv shows and it was the trippiest shit ever. Like I literally made this joke like right before he made it, like in my brother's ear, like just like somebody on stage said something like, ter- like named someone Teresa, but she said it weird. She said like Teresa. And then the next scene was like about chorizo. And I had whispered in his ear. I was like, chorizo. It was, it was, and just, then he said it and then he said it. That's genetics. That's genetics. Yeah. That's genetics. <laughs> exactly. Um, now did you, did you uh, introduce yourself before the show or after did you come up to him? I got, okay, so we have a bunch of half siblings. So I got his number from one of them. And then, because he was like, you can have, you can give it to any of the siblings. Because he's like kind of cool about it, I guess. Yeah. You know? But yeah, so I texted him and I was like, we'll be at your show tonight. How does that work? Does he just um, jerk off in a tube or something? Yeah, as far as a, tu- a cup, yeah. In a cup? Yeah. Does he have any mixed kids? That's a great question. Like, you know, like a woman from Argentina wanting, Mm -hmm. you know, some of... uh, Most of the siblings I've met look pretty white. Really? Yeah. Or at least white past. So (laughs) how many have you met? This is like a documentary (laughs) in the works. Um, There is like a Facebook group of us um, with a a spreadsheet. What? Yes. Um, So I've only met one in person. It was kind of like weirdly sad. So that's kind of not super interesting to me anymore but i like that i h- hit up all the gay ones first oh like, so some of them are gay too some of them are gay oh, which okay, is that's awesome cool. Yeah, like, that's cool so oh, there's a balance siblings. there's a balance yeah we're um, all over the place are you close to any of them like where you like are like real good homies no i like it's kind of interesting like i feel like the siblings who grew up without other siblings in their lives like yeah. are really drawn to like meeting the other siblings yeah right? yeah yeah but my brother and i had each other you guys are tight you we're tight brother. yeah and so we, we were very curious about meeting our dad which a lot right, of them were, right. weren't curious about so uh, is he cool he's so cool so he's really chill he's really chill yeah it's like kind of weird because i'm like i wish we could know each other better but 
We can't say his name. I mean, you want to keep that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I won't yeah. blow up his. Because I was gonna say, I, well, I was <laughs> gonna say, if you want to, you know, go to his comedy show. He'll uh, yeah. be performing at the Improv. Or Me something. and Susie are actually gonna go undercover really? to one of his shows in a really? couple weeks. Yeah, That's she wants crazy. to like go see him. I know so it's how, weird. How old is he? He's like sixty, I think. And he's still doing the comedy. Yeah, yeah. He must look young. He does. He he looks great. I'm, I'll I'll show you. Who will you? Is. Okay, so after <laughs> this podcast is over, will you show me a picture of him? Yeah, for sure. After, for sure. Mm-hmm. Okay, so um, how's your mom's relationship with him? Is it just like, they've never? She has no idea who he is or anything, really. Oh, so she she just agreed. Oh, it's just art of it's insemination, yes. artificial mm-hmm. insemination, yeah. mm-hmm. and she didn't have to meet him. Nope. Does she want to <laughs> meet him in, like Not later really. down the line? No. Which is wow. weird, right? Yeah, I, I mean, because I'm like that's who that's half fa- of who I that's am. The father of it's so fucking kids, weird, right? But our dad was kind of tr- like I think things were really different like 30 years ago, you know, when they were it was kind of like shameful almost to and they were like the doctors would be like, oh, you don't have to tell anyone, like this could be your little secret type of thing. So I feel like there's still kind of a lot of like stigma that they yeah. have about it, you know. Do you think there's any uh, women out there that are looking for a five foot three little <laughs> Korean man sperm? Hey, you could. Uh, you Is could there try. a market for that? <laughs> <laughs> you know how many people are looking for that? Zero. Not enough. Not enough. <laughs> Zero. <laughs> no one's looking. You know, you can create Zero. the market. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, I'm wondering. So he has to make a profile online, right? I don't know. I think. So what, how do yeah? How I did think he, he choose like. <laughs> Through the, all the other they, um, okay, they told me he was. They call him Vile Six Nine One, and I think that it just basically said like different sperm donation places have different information about him listed. Like but what kinds of information? Like he likes volleyball. They knew he was really tall. He, okay, six three. He's like seven feet tall, and my dad that I grew Wait up with is really tall. <laughs> he's seven foot. Yeah. Okay, I'm exaggerating. He's six eight, but I'm rounding up. He's really so your tall. Mom picked a, a My tall. mom's five feet tall, also. So she that's why she did it. She didn't want a little <laughs> little hobbits running around. <laughs> well, also my my dad I grew up with is really tall, so they wanted it to be oh, convincing. Oh wow. Yeah. They wanted to really pull it. So a your fast mom thought about it <laughs> many sure. nights. She's I, like, I guess no, so. I want to balance it out. <laughs> He's gotta be a tall <laughs> glass of water. What else? So what other things did he have to list on his profile? Well, it said that he was German, which is one reason why they chose him, because my dad I grew up with is like mostly German, but he's really not The dad much. that raised you in the household? Yeah, yeah exactly. Okay, okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So they thought we might look more right, similar, right, I guess. Right, right, right. That's interesting. Yeah. So w- did he have to list any of his hobbies or outside curricular activities? So. If he did, I don't know if my parents cared to i don't think they wanted to know too much about him see i would want to know like what are what kind of music is he into yeah what kind of kid am i does he does he like art does he paint does he into collaging well it turns out he's hilarious and pretty successful yeah. comedian so he's so he's pretty he's pretty well known he's he's cracking right now uh, yeah I wanna, you kind of want to say wanna t- uh, yeah i want to can i you. can i ask you something <laughs> can I, is he on netflix at all um is he on some shows does <laughs> does he have an agent out here I, I don't know if he has an agent. Do he has a book manager? I don't know. I don't but know much about him. He probably him. does if he's booking these shows unless he's He's been in one movie that I saw when I was a kid and like saw him in when I was a child. He's in a movie? Yeah. Oh, he's in a movie. In the 80s or 90s? Um, In like the early aughts. Early aughts? Did I say that right? What does that mean? Like the early 2000s. Early 2000s. I thought it would sound cool. Is it a comedy? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Who's... Wh- 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 ben Stiller's the star. Ben. That's all I'll say. Zoolander. <laughs> no, but that would be sick. My dad is Owen Wilson. <laughs> oh my god, that would be amazing. I'd be like, pay up, pops. I would be extorting him. I'd be like, hey, I'm I'm your blood. That's a great idea, yeah. actually. You should extort him. I should definitely. Extort Yo, him. What's up? Yo, if you're listening, partner. Partner. You squeeze the juice. <laughs> it's time to pay the <laughs> duck, duck, goose. You thought I wasn't coming back It's time to pay you? the piper, yeah. <laughs> you got to pay alimony, right? I'm coming you for should, you, Dad. You should <laughs> at least um, extort him $1,000 a month. Be like, you can't That's be... That's chill. That's like child uh, support. He could afford 1000 I think he could. Just be like, dude, you can't be, you know, <laughs> busting nuts nilly. everywhere and <laughs> having all these kids running around with no repercussions. You got you to gotta pay up. Covered the country in cream. Yeah. You got to... 
pay the American dream. Yeah. Oh, pay the <laughs> no, did he have to like go to a clinic to do that or does he do it at home and then does he put so it in the freezer? So from what I understand or? is he was going to clinics maxing out donations and they were like, whoa, 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 we've had enough. Thanks for all the jizz. And then he would like go to the next one in town. How much did he, just you could tell me, how much did he make off that? I Total. don't think that the the sperm donation is that much. I'm going to be real with you. How much did he, like, f- like 15, 20,000? Oh, you know, I think it's like for men, it's like 50 to 100 a pop. So for, a, for your, one cup. Your DNA? For your DNA. <laughs> but you guys can make it endlessly. Wow. Chicks can't do that, you know. So he's Female so body. he was just like squirt, 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 squirt. Oh, wow. Well, so. you know, um, you should pay <laughs> up. Pay or something. Please. Yeah. Um, so let's get, <laughs> let's get to um, how did you um, – when did you move out to L.A.? I moved out two years ago this month, actually. Really? Mm-hmm. And then what was the uh, final decision of wh- why you wanted, like, did, were you just like, did you wake up one morning I, in Arkansas? Were you like, th- th- now's the time? I So I lived in Chicago for a year before this. I was flying out here a lot. That five-hour flight was not it for me. I really hated doing that a lot. Mm-hmm. And I came out here for a long trip, and I was like, you know, I think this place is fun, and I think that there's a career to be had here somewhere right, or another. Right, so, right, right. Yeah. And then how did you link up with, um, shout out to uh, Susie Stellar. Shouts out. That's my girl. That's your, that's your, that's your homie. That's my Yeah. That, is homie. that your best friend? I, I would, I would d- venture to say it's my best friend. How did you all meet? We met also quite cosmically at a strip club as patrons randomly in New Orleans. We both happened to be there and we kind of knew who each other was from the internet. Really? Yeah. Okay. And we were like, Hey, she was like, I was so like mystified by her. She was like there with this kind of gay looking man but they were making out a lot and i was like what is this girl about like what's happening over there Did you guys automatically get along instantly mm, we i think we were very curious about each other but we're both a bit reserved perhaps yeah new people but um when we started the podcast together we really like but what led up to that i mean did you guys did it take a couple months i mean you had to gotten to know her a little bit before starting a podcast yeah we'd hung out a couple times and we knew we got along and we knew we both kind of wanted to do something that wasn't just in the adult industry right and i don't know i we didn't know each other super well but i think we both sensed that it could go somewhere and we wanted to yeah dig a little deeper into each other and then did you (laughs) just then did you like do research on like finding a producer did you get your own camera and your gear how did that all work out we just immediately started going to a studio. How'd you find this place? Um, this comedian who we knew, you know, Ari Manis. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We did a Scissor Bros live at his apartment. What's that? Scissor Bros? Yeah, we did. Uh, that was the podcast that I used to do. Oh, yeah, yeah, Bros. yeah. So shout out to Jeremiah. I still love <laughs> you, buddy. Um, and then we did a live th- at his apartment. Ari. Oh, yeah, nice. yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. he used to do shows or something, stand up shows oh. in his in apartment. In his place? Yeah, in his cool. apartment. Yeah. So you linked up with him? Yeah. He knew Susie through, um, I think, his girlfriend at the time, and he had a studio, so we just started off there. And oh, wow. Yeah, we were both not the most tech-savvy individuals. I'm very impressed by your setup here. Oh, honestly. I have the bare minimum. But you're doing it all yourself. Like, that's so cool. Yeah, but you could do it, too. I mean, someone mm-hmm. could teach you in, like, a week. Right, Chelsea? Like, you just need a camp. Yeah, you could literally... Yeah, the the, okay. the, um, the editing program is very self-explanatory easy to use okay if you have a if you've used garage band or anything mm-hmm. like that you can learn it like that hmm. yeah you should literally you should seriously think about doing it yourselves yeah. if you want to put in if you have that extra time where you don't want to pay the the um mm-hmm. like Studio a junior fee? editing fee to yeah. uh executive producer or i'm just so afraid pro- i would like fuck something up you know or like but there's not much to mess produce up like when people say producer and the podcast world it's kind of hyping it up a little bit it's kind of cringe to me it's like what are you producing dude <laughs> two people talking in a room like okay you know what i'm saying y- i, I don't i'm just saying. that's my own that's my own little thing because i had to learn the hard way mm-hmm. i'm not throwing anyone one under the rug but i had to learn the hard way where i'm like what am i paying this person for there and then i i did research i'm like oh i just get Do my own shit myself. It it does feel really good to like do things yourself and right? you know it's getting done right. Yeah, yeah. You should look into that. Okay. If you need help, I mean, I'll I'll I'll, sh- I'll share my knowledge. Okay, amazing. as much <laughs> as I know, and I'll relay it to Susie as well. Okay, I'll tell you what camera that dude. I got that camera uh, for three hundred something dollars off 
uh, eBay. And, um, That's pretty chill. And then, well, how much is a memory card, Chels? Like 40 bucks. Yeah, you get a memory card. You have a, you get a, compu- a PC computer. And then you just get uh, Adobe Premiere. That's it. Okay. That's all you need. Yeah. That's kind of a lot. The, the, you <laughs> think so? Oh, I'm, yeah. I didn't mean to overwhelm you. <laughs> I didn't mean to overwhelm you. I'm sorry. Am I? Okay. Yeah, is, that, is, there, is there a lot? Is there? Is that a lot? <laughs> I don't know. Me- something about memory cards, PCs, all of it. I'm like, uh. It's so- uh, the thing is, it sounds <laughs> crazy, but it really isn't. I need to empower myself. Do you do you deal with like a- ADH? Like yes. Oh, you do. Sure. Okay. So <laughs> are you? Because I'm on. Um. So are you taking medication as well? I have medication. I've been managing it pretty well without mm-hmm. lately, which mm-hmm. has been nice. What do you about, feel what about you? anxious? Or like, you feel like anxiety a lot, or I've really learned. I feel like to manage my anxiety a lot, but I'm actually getting off of my longtime antidepressant right now, which I'm very excited about because it's actually going well for the first time. Right, so right, it's right, cool. right. Um, Lexpro. Yeah, Lexpro. Yeah, Shouts yeah, out. That's Shouts uh, out to Lexpro. Yeah. As well. So, um, <laughs> how long were you on? Because I'm that. I'm Is that what you're on? Yeah. Oh, nice. How do you feel about it? I don't feel any. I've just don't feel it at all huh. i don't feel any different how, how long have you been on it um about a year now oh and really Nine that's months, a bummer 10 months or something yeah fuck i mean if you don't feel any different just why take it just don't don't stop cold turkey but oh really? <laughs> <laughs> I start w- I w- wake up in a cold sweat I th- that's the thing is i kind of i'll talk about it but people are so opinionated because it's such a um dividing kind of um topic you know mm. as far as taking meds. big fo- yeah like i don't want people are like well you why do you need that that's what you're like you know people be like oh you're weak for even mm-hmm. considering that but or you feel that way as well like well, i don't know i don't know i just thought i have i just have an open mind i'll try if, if it you know does if something if the doctor prescribed you know i'll yeah. try it. if it's doctor prescribed i'll try it you know it's not like i'm dosing myself for prescribing myself mm-hmm. i actually saw a psychiatrist you right yeah and i saw yeah i saw a shrink and um in uh arizona in gilbert it was cheaper out there and like and like yeah i talked to the guy I'd still talk to the guy and make appointments and like i go what do you think is happening with me what do you think will help <laughs> me yeah is that what you did too as well um yeah kind ki- yeah back home in arkansas well no actually when i when i got prescribed um Lexapro I just came into the doctor being like I had really bad period uh, depression and she was like and I was like I just want to try this because it sounds good so, and she was like it was like my GP so I did not go through a psych for it but to the point where you couldn't get out of bed yeah and it was just so much of my life like it wasn't every day but it was like half of the month of just being like I feel really bad <laughs> like you didn't want to get up didn't want to get up felt really low energy suicidal like just unpleasant and yeah because i felt i felt um where there was a moment where i didn't even want to get out of bed mm-hmm. you know i just like I has it helped with your anxiety yeah well i yeah i don't <laughs> it's just kind of like this now i don't feel too high i don't feel too low okay so it kind of I'm, yeah, brought I'm your emotions of, towards the middle a bit yeah i try to I try not because the thing is like my my enemy is my own thinking and my brain and my own thoughts mm-hmm. and stuff. So if I can minimize that and if this kind of helps me like it helps me not trip on things as much as I used to because I could really overanalyze Spiral. things and like, oh, and uh-huh. especially like I got paranoid over like people and places and things like are they talking about like. Oh, do they have a vendetta against me, or oh, they did? You know, I'm like, I got paranoid, and mm-hmm. when it was not really true, mm-hmm. I don't know. It's just like paranoid thinking. Yeah, I'm also in a 12 step program as well, so Congrats. like that. So it's like, um, yeah, I, it's my thinking. You know, mm-hmm. it's like my own en- worst enemy. Do you like? I hate to be this person right now, but do you like meditate or? Have yeah, no, no, that's <laughs> that's crazy. You brought that up because it's a part of my program is mm-hmm. to like mm-hmm. sit still and mm-hmm. to meditate and just to try to be still. Does that help you? It helps me. It does help me a lot. Right, you, right, right, right. When you wake up in the morning, you're you're, you're a morning meditator. Well, I try or to just like right when you wake up, like sit up in bed. No, I get on my knees. I don't know who mm. or what I'm praying to. I pray to mm. something out there. I uh-huh. don't know what it is. I just pray to. I guess you could call it God. I just sit there and I just blast it out. Well, I just say, please help me. Whoever's out, whatever's out there, please help me. <laughs> please, I, someone yeah, hear me yeah, for the love of God. Yeah, please. please help me. Thank you for, you know, I try to make a gratitude and, like list. Yeah. Thank you for a roof and food. I like to keep it simple. Yeah. So do you do something like that too? Mm-hmm. So what, what happens when you, what's your daily routine? 
Oh, I'm so glad you asked. Yeah. <laughs> so my daily routine, I get up, go on a walk first thing. I live in East LA. It's like very hilly. So I'm just mm-hmm. walking yeah, up the hills. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then I always journal quite a bit. You big, do? I'm a big journaler. Yeah. How long have you been doing that for? A couple of years now. Is it a diary format or what is it? Yeah. Uh, my new one, I'm I actually, I have my new one with me, but um, I'm doing some more art in it because I feel like that's a bit more of an interesting like mental state reflection to look back on. But, is it um, freeform writing, whatever comes into your head? Yeah, kind of like morning pages, sort of a vibe. Really? Mm-hmm. How long are they? Is that are they parag- paragraphs or one paragraph? Or? Um, so I'm in this new notebook, it's, it's pretty big. I mean, if you want it, I mean, that's up to you. Do you if you, want, if you wanted to share a little bit of it, uh, oh my God, maybe, maybe that would help. Well, I'll just show you. you. Like, I usually write like a page, but I just wanted to clarify because they're pretty oh, wow. like, well, yeah, I like they're like big. Right. That's, that's Thank interesting. You. Yeah, I like your font. Yeah, I'm going to show you my, my oh, picture wow. too. I know, so nice, right? You, oh, you do art too? Yeah, I like, let's I like drawing. Let's check it out. Let's check it okay. out. This is like kind of my only picture I've done in this new journal so far, but yeah, there you go. How long have you been doing your art? Um, Forever, like since. Okay, okay. That's great. I didn't know you did art. This is great. Are you getting this? Okay, so <laughs> do you have a story that matches this? Um, no, no, just kind of farted this one out. <laughs> do you mind reading a paragraph? Um, I don't think it would be very interesting. It's just kind I of. I think <laughs> I think it would. I mean, in your see, that's the thing. In your head, you might you're thinking that, but to others, it may be interesting. Let's see. Take a crack at it. Don't think about it too much. Just whatever okay. comes. Yeah, this just is, read this whatever. Is what, or last thing I wrote there this morning. You go. Okay. Um, Yesterday I was reading, religion and agriculture were philosophies that developed as a reflection of one another, each justified the other, and man's relationship to animals. Why, why this steroid-injected human tendency towards hierarchy and dominion? A natural progression of mammalian behavior, in some sense, perhaps? But why? <laughs> why? Keep, keep going. going. Keep okay, going. okay. <laughs> I love it. Uh, why did nature's progression somehow allow for one species to become so dominant to understand some of the mysteries of the physical building blocks of life and physical reality enough to recreate them <laughs> in a bastardized egocentric fashion? Uh, surely it can't all be j- some fluke or is that just my human mind's wishful interpretation? Keep going, keep going. <laughs> this is great. Either way, we are so very good at creating reality, so perhaps I'm right. It is purposeful or heading towards some greater good, something that doesn't gobble down the progression of this little planet through time and space. I don't know, but I do wonder. <laughs> hit him again. Hit him again. Hit him again. <laughs> hit him uh, one more time. One more paragraph. Hit him again. That, that's the last one. That's that's it. Dude, that's dope. <laughs> I guess. Wow. I mean, did you? <laughs> no, did, how do you write it. like that? Did you learn that in school like that style? Because it's like... <laughs> it's philosophical as I, well. Wow, I feel so embarrassed. No, right don't now. feel bad. I, <laughs> weren't you impressed? It's a lot of <laughs> philosophy as well, just the way you think about the world and questioning re- the world. I mean, did you? <laughs> did are you self-taught? Like, um, yes, I guess. I don't know. I wrote a lot in school, but so so <laughs> that was your favorite subject matter, just well, writing, creative writing. Yeah, and writing and drawing. I've always been very connected to since I was like very little. So let's see some more art. More art? Yeah, yeah, um, I don't have too much more in here. You know, it's pretty uh, new. Show, notebook, show one more. Show okay, one, one, one more. more. Um, I do have this one little. Okay, so me and Susie actually we went to this mystical, magical oh, lake oh, in Guatemala. Oh, wow, 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 that's dope. That's so yeah, a that's postcard. the yeah, that's a little that's a little lake in my my calendar. <laughs> yeah, I need you to fill it? out the other one. Oh, she's Guatemala. Are you really? Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Oh, wow. have you been to Lake Atitlan? Check that's it out, dude. Wild synchronicity. That's how life works, huh? Oh, what a cool place. Yeah. So that's that's really impressive. You, wow. The journaling, like, <laughs> what? Are you self conscious about it or what? Um, no, I just feel like exposed a little bit right now. But why? Why? <laughs> I think you just feel vulnerable because it's like your thoughts and your, yeah, your yeah. words, right? I don't, yeah, I don't share my my writing uh, like really ever. But that stuff's but powerful. I would like words to, are powerful. Words are very yeah. powerful, indeed. I mean, to the point that's where why you pray every day. You know, not only that, but you know. That's people could cast spells. I mean, uh huh. Do you wor- no, 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 no. I don't mess with any of that. Sure. I don't. I oh, really? Don't. Yeah. Do you believe it? Oh are yeah. You, I cast. Are spells you superstitious? Th- I cast spells like every new moon. I'm not gonna lie, and they work so every you, time. What do you? What do you? Ta- what you mean? You like tomorrow? You do day after tomorrow? You which? <laughs> <laughs> are we talking about like? Uh, do, you gr- do you? Are we talking about the craft? The movie? The craft? Low key. 
Really? Yeah, like not demonic shit. Like I would never. Well, why don't you talk a little bit about that? That's interesting. So, what is it? Is it Wicca? <laughs> um, like yeah, pretty Wicca adjacent kind of stuff. Yeah. So, so is it Wicca? I I don't know. Like I don't really know too much too much about Wicca specifically. I just saw a movie last night on Tubi called The Believers. I think Martin Sheen's in it, and it's about Santa, Santeria. Okay, I've heard of Santeria. Yeah, yeah, it was pretty scary. Is Santeria kind of dark? Well, this was a yeah. This I guess this was a d- d- dark. I mean, there's good mm-hmm. and bad. What's it called? Uh, the Believers. Ooh. It's on um Tubi for free. Okay. Love yeah, Tubi. Check, it, check it out. <laughs> check it out. Yeah, I just saw that last night. So, is it similar to like Santeria or Wicca? I don't I, really I know much so. about it. Like, I'm I'm kind of into um like uh cult- Ter- cultivating like kind of your own symbology in magic, right? Like sigils. So, your um, own sigils? Si- sigils are cool. I I've like used sigils sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I was. I don't know why I was like, going to do a protective. Can I trust this one? I was going to make a protective situation. Like, don't be <laughs> casting no spells at the Stevie Weeby show. Keep that um, out of here. You seen that movie Midsummer? Uh huh. I mean, that was they had like those Norwegian <laughs> sigils. Did, you, the, did that movie scare you? Yeah, it, it, it did. It's disturbing. Yeah. Okay. It bothers. It, yeah, it's still. It gets it's under with your you. skin. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. a slow burn. Mm-hmm. Did it bother you? I mean, I don't know. Something about Ari Aster stuff doesn't hit for me, but I was also pretty high and alone in a theater when I saw that. So maybe I was in like a <laughs> exact. Why, why? Would you watch why? that movie when you're high and alone? You know, I'll tell you why. That's the worst <laughs> movie you could possibly watch. That's what people by telling yourself. me. You are out of your freaking mind. <laughs> My best friend was like, don't see this high. It's a what bad decision. And it made me want to that much. Why more. did you do that? <laughs> I, it was, I think, less impactful, honestly. I regret doing it. Yeah, that movie really, it's... Messed you up. Uh, yeah, it's, yeah, he... Because there's a lot of s- uh, symbols in it. Like, even hereditary, you know, there's a lot of, like, hidden symbols that hmm. you... If you might not catch it the first time, but then when you watch it several times, you're like, wait, I didn't see that. Ooh. Or even when the grandma's, you know, like, her uh, aura's in the room, and, like... Or, like, remember, like, the, the hidden shadow of the mom? She was like... Oh yeah, I didn't see okay. that in the movie theater okay. in Hereditary. You know, in the kids, the the boys' room, the son's room, and I saw it like later where hmm. it was like she was doing this because she was like in the darkness and like like a spider like crawling on the wall. Did you see that? Mm-hmm. Oh, I didn't see that in the theater. Oh wait, the movie or the well, that I didn't part. see that in the movie theater oh. while it was happening, but I heard the whole movie theater go oh, and I'm like oh, and then by be- and then I. Just, <laughs> Before you know it, I, it already passed me by. But then when I saw it in on video, because I you bought it, it, I bought all, I bought all those. Yeah, I bought I, I, on I DVD. No, I buy them on iTunes on my phone. Oh, why did I? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That yeah. makes sense. Well, I, I do have <laughs> DVDs, but oh, nice. yeah. Um, God, I'm sorry, <laughs> I, we're going all over the place. But so Midsummer, uh, and then back to the Wick, and then oh, yeah, so magic. you got into you you got it. Do, is it through tarot cards? I love tarot. Yes. Really? Yeah. What it, what I should have brought my cards. That would have been fun. What? What? It, so, what is that all about? Is it? Um, is it all based on feeling and intuition, or why do people? Why are there bad things? Why? Why do people look negatively on it? Like it's it's like evil or something. Many questions. Okay, I think that a lot of the like um, evil kind of tropes around magic are things that really came about probably during the catholic churches like time Mm. i know they were doing a lot of like demonizing around like pagan traditions Mm. and a lot of that i think served to uh, well kind of what i was reading from that journal like separating people from um feeling like connected and in tune with nature into more of like a dominating relationship to nature i think that that That, is sort of related midsummer too because they went through it was like seasonal and like Uh the solstice and yeah yeah, okay well that's they went through like the (laughs) you know yeah um so it's uh, it's based on nature then is what you're saying yeah it's based on like um tarot is like these archetypes about the human journey through life right and so each of the um pictures the characters in this like story are about different parts of the journey that we all (sighs) Go on yeah. the spiritual journey. I thought that you did telekinesis and move this just now. <laughs> Who's to say I didn't? Um, <laughs> so, uh, is a do you, so. What is the hermit card? Do, what does that symbolize? The hermit. Wow, that card. makes sense that that would call to you. Yeah. Why? Just uh, her, hermit's all about hermitude, hermitage, and solitude, and see. Are you a Virgo? Yeah, we're oh. both. We're, oh. 
two Virgos. I'm a Capricorn, so what's oh, up? In so good company. We, oh, really? Are we, we all, we're all good? <laughs> we're, 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 we're earth signs. We're all kosher so. in here? We're all good? I think we're good. We're good? You we're guys good? might be a little neurotic, but I might be too, so. <laughs> so we're good in here. <laughs> are we good? Yeah, I think so. I mean, we seem like we're getting along here. Are you good? Yeah, I'm, yeah I'm she's good. good. <laughs> so when you pull, like, how, how many cards do you have to pull? Is it like playing poker or something? Like, how does it work? <laughs> <laughs> There's all sorts of different ways that you can do it. Okay. And you can even like make up whatever. You could be like, huh, I wonder what would happen if I jerk off this morning or if I don't jerk off this morning. And then you can kind of pull two different cards and see, oh, like, what are my. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. So you could base your <laughs> life's decisions you on could. the card? But they're better used, they say, for like gaining insight into situations and, and into the mind. And so it's about interpretation. That's a big part of it, yes. But what if. <laughs> So it's about your own interpretation? Like, oh, this means that I have to go well, on a hike or something. I think like... there's a sun on the card or something. Oh, yeah. I love that. Definitely. So like, th it can like, yeah, kind of tap you into like deeper recesses of your own like subconscious mind where maybe you're making better decisions than your rational mind is making. All right. Give me some other examples <laughs> of cards then. I said the hermit card. Okay. That's the only one I kind of know. So what are the other cards? Some other cool cards? Yeah. Um... I'm a big fan of the Empress. She's like the hot one who's so like super mean? fertile, uh, like big feminine energy, moms, things of that nature. So when you pull that, what if, <laughs> what if I pull that card? That means. Well, it kind of depends on the context, but. Okay. Give me another card. Okay. <laughs> that is interesting. Okay. Um, uh, there's the hanged man, which is one. There's a lot of cards that seem kind of negative, but have well, these kind of interesting so esoteric a man meanings. Hanging? Yeah, it is a man hanging. So what does that mean? So that's the card right before death, the death card. So I don't want to pull that card. I want to live <laughs> a few more years. <laughs> and it's like kind of about like the meditation that happens like before like rebirth and renewal and oh, no. seeing things from a different perspective before really? you let them go. Yeah. <laughs> so You're upside down and So yeah. what would happen if like a like <laughs> a kid pulled that card? That wouldn't make any sense. They're going to die. I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, don't say that. <laughs> or how about this? It might mean that a family member might be passing. If a it kid, could. Right? Have you ever had that, like like uh, people passing intuition kind of things? No. But Susie told me you've had some ghostly things. Yeah. Well, when my dad passed away, uh, he saw a shadow man in the hospital. And um, the week that he passed, I was... It, in the the hospice with him, just me and him, and he saw something in the ceiling. Um, and they're called, I guess, they're quote unquote called deathbed visions, mm -hmm. where he wasn't supposed to be like even coherent, or you know, like his eyes were supposed, like he was off his feeding tube, and out of nowhere, he just opened his eyes like super big, like where that shouldn't have happened, and he was look, like, he saw something in the ceiling, but that, but the one the. The event that happened before that, the the gnarly stroke when my, me and my brother and my mom drove to Arizona, he saw a shadow man and he was like, Woo! you know, he kept following it. And my brother is like, like, like conversing with him and saying, dad, is, do you see someone? And he was like, there he was. They're both in agreement of my bro them seeing a shot like a dude with a uh -huh. hat. Yeah. A hat? The yeah. hat guy? It was, yeah, he said it was a uh, guy, it was a shadow guy with a uh, fedora. So many people see that hat guy. I don't know what it means. I, I mean, there's a whole, there's a whole like conspiracy oh, yeah. surrounding this, the hat, the shadow hat man yeah. or whatever. But yeah, there's other weird stuff. And then we, you know, me and Bob grew up in a haunted house in Poway. And I'm, my, and I'm guessing our house was probably built on an Indian burial ground. So many and, are. And, so many and are. then you know they uh like uh, what was it was it called oh, so, so I, we, I went through sleep paralysis where i heard the whispers really? and they're holding me down and it was like you know that whole thing i've, I've how many times have i still told this story over 10 yeah. okay the sleep paralysis thing <laughs> okay. is interesting See, i got off it i boom and then boom boom sorry to <laughs> do you have i want to hear about yours mine yeah um. there's got to be some ghosts in <laughs> arkansas there there's some ghosts in Arkansas. I really only lived at one place where some like kind of objectively fishy things were happening. Let's hear about it. Well, I moved into this like very tiny apartment and it was a small part of this house. And I found out after, you know, hanging out with these two cats that were around all the time 
that they always wanted to like come in they were they were pretty sweet um but i found out that the lady who lived there a year before me had like died in the apartment and had been left in there for several weeks i think she was a very like lonely person and they when they opened the apartment door because they finally realized something was afoot um the cats like ran out into the wilderness for several months and they had like eaten a lot of her like face oh and and stomach and stuff God. yeah so those cats were still there hanging out with me making me their new mom eyeing me up the same cats the same two cats Do came what? back you're making bad choices man <laughs> you're seeing midsummer high alone <laughs> you're letting these cats who were feasting on it <laughs> A corpse, a lady's yeah. corpse's fa- face? Face, specifically. Pet Cemetery Part <laughs> 3. Stephen King, watch out, we got a new <laughs> script for you. <laughs> Holy smokes. But some strange things would happen at that house uh, beyond the cats. Like The strangest thing that happened a couple of times was like I had a front and back door to that ap- apartment, and the back door had a piano right next to it. And it happened like it was always around 3 a.m. It happened maybe three or four times. That's the witching hour, hour. I know, which makes it so much spookier. Like, but it would be like someone playing a few notes on the piano while someone else was knocking on the front door. Like oh, seconds yeah. later. Oh yeah. Which was very eerie. Like yeah, pe- I don't like the. Th- I don't like it when it's three, three, three in the morning. Mm-mm. Hear that? I don't either. I hate waking up. I then. don't I'm like, like no, that. no, 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 no. Yeah. <laughs> Too many movies. So did you hear any knocks or whispers? I heard no whispers but knocks yes and it was just completely infested with roaches in there a couple times like they would like swarm it was like really really disgusting what, the place. big the big ones or the little ones the little ones oh those are even worse they're worse Ugh. i would go on like killing sprees yeah, in the night yeah, i felt yeah. bad but they had to go so this okay so i want to know how the cats found you the two cats well, that were been, living with this old lady yeah they'd been living at that place for like a year i guess at that point and then they had run away when they finally escaped when they went to find this out woman. in the forest yes so when you moved in they, they had come back <laughs> and they, they, they saw you <laughs> and they came back yeah, they had been back for a little bit when I moved there. Kind of a strange timeline. Why did you let them in? I, I didn't Get know. Get some fresh animals, <laughs> man. <laughs> a clean slate, man. I didn't know There's that they were murderers. With these kittens, man. <laughs> Don't you want a clean slate? There's a whole horror story attached to these two cats, and you let them back into the apartment. <sighs> they just needed some love. <laughs> Why did you let? Did you know the history? No, not when, not at first. And then I found out, and then I had a very different oh. perception of these two. So cats. So when did you find out? When did you make the connection? These two cats that I let into my apartment. One of my are- neighbor told. One of my neighbors told me. He was like, "You keep letting those cats in your apartment," and I was like, "Yeah, they're cute." And he was like, "Are they?" And they told you this. And then was it a, a a dude or? It was a dude, and he was really gross. Also, I didn't like living next to him. Was it like a Jeffrey Dahmer motherfucker? Uh, more like creepy redneck, like uh, cre- creep. Yeah, creepy redneck. You heard the story about this place <laughs> or what? <laughs> Let me tell you about these two little <laughs> kittens here. <laughs> <laughs> Let me come in here to crack a beer and <laughs> <laughs> tell you what's what. <laughs> you got a spittoon oh or I got to bring my God. own. <laughs> so did he knock on your door? And no, he wasn't a knocker. He would just see me around and approach. He was one of those neighbors where he would stare at you leave? He sent me, okay, the day after I moved out, he <sighs> sent me a picture of my boobs from the internet. And I was like, ew. That's crossing Ew. that is so Ew. that is crossing how did he even find out how did name? he find out i hated shame it shame so on much. you dude gross yeah how <laughs> how did he find that out i don't oh know i don't want to know <laughs> dude did you call the sheriff <laughs> thankfully i was leaving the state at this point oh my god <laughs> how much is rent in arkansas it's dirt literal dirt you could bring in how much pocket change. So, well, <laughs> if I just wanted to move away from LA, Arkansas is great. How much could I fi- find? How much could I find a studio apartment in Arkansas? A studio apartment, <laughs> like my my place, that place I was living with the the cats was four hundred a month. Holy moly, guacamole! Yeah. For it was about the same size as this place. Really? Yeah. Utilities included? Yeah. It was sick. Um, it's oh sorry. Really. <laughs> Hard yeah. floors? Hard carpet? floors. No carpet. So Arkansas might be a place to go. But what do you do there for kicks? 
you got to kind of invent your own kicks there. They got know? a roller skating rink, a bowling alley. We got those. <laughs> movie theater. Yeah. What are the people like? Honestly, very friendly. Like your neighbor there that will find a little too <laughs> friendly. <laughs> I feel like you'd I feel like they'd like you. They would? Yeah, the Arkansans. I would have to grow this out, get a cowboy <laughs> hat, get some cowboy boots, break out a little bit of that southern thing. Yeah, you were killing it. Yeah. Um <laughs> they drink a lot of beer out there, not to generalize. There's some beer drinking. I wouldn't say it's like as big a part of the culture as it is in some cities, but there's yeah, we like beer. Okay. okay. <laughs> Do you drink? You don't. You don't drink. No, beer. no, no. You're I'm no recovering. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I was a beer guzzler. Okay. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. I, I love the good the barley. Oh yeah. I can't do it now though. Yeah. Are you are you a weed smoker? Or no, no weed. Oh, uh, oh, I love. I mean, for many, 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 many of years, I was. But a not weed. now. Nothing. Not now. now. But wow. I. Wow. That's so commendable. I I struggle with it still. Weed is I, I haven't done it yet, but I still. I think about it from time to time. About my girlfriend smokes, so. She does it for me, and I, I, you know, and I've been to the dispensaries with her, but I don't dabble in it. Good for but you. But I, but I know what's out there. You know how y- good it is. Y'all got it good. <laughs> y'all got it real good out there. <laughs> let me tell you. Um, let's go back to the witchcraft stuff. The witchcraft. Somebody. So you didn't dabble in the Ouija boards, did you? The fuck no. I'm scared okay, of Ouija well, boards. Okay, well there you go. So you were you were really staying away from the darkness. Yeah, not interested. Never been interested. Just now, did you have any <laughs> like weird things, like demonic things happen? I haven't, I don't think I've had any demonic experiences, thankfully. If I had, I was willfully ignorant of them. And any s- persons casting spells on you? Mm, maybe. I, I hope not. Really? But you never know with the internet, you know? Do you know how to cast spells? Um, I like <laughs> casting spells. I don't, I don't, um, have like a wand or anything like okay, that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you're not like you don't have the harry potter thing i don't but wands like, are sick I yeah, not, yeah, yeah, not yeah, for yeah. me but you know those are made with you know f- you know the hollywood they're made from the holly tree hollywood oh really Ho- that's why they call it hollywood because the wands are made from the holly tree and they would make the wands out of the holly tree hollywood a holly tree and then that's where uh they would M- make the movie magic happens i mean, I mean <laughs> casting spells <laughs> out here we got disney's <laughs> casting spells <laughs> yeah I thought that was interesting, you know, Hollywood, Holly Tree, mm. s- uh, these spells from the Holly Tree, mm-hmm. yeah. Isn't that interesting? Mm-hmm. But you don't do any of that. I do a lot of, uh, I do a lot of burying. I, I do use my period blood, I'm not going to lie. That's kind of semi-demonic the, oh, sounding. <laughs> back up there. <laughs> burying? Yeah, I do some burying, yeah. What does that do? Just like burying a little note, you know, put it back in the earth. So give me an example <laughs> of what... You it might bury. Okay, well, last month I buried something that I successfully worked because I really wanted, like, to, I'm moving this weekend. Yeah, co- and okay, cool, good, good. I just really wanted this one apartment, so I kind of, you know, made a little wish. And, and, it and I buried it, and, and I got it. You made that happen? I think so, because a lot of people applied. So you had to put blood in it? I did use some blood. Why? Because um, blood is really powerful. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> where are you learning this stuff? What, so what do you mean, like, if you spill your blood? Because that can go with s- satanic stuff, too. It can. I don't think it's the same for boys, though, because you guys don't have period blood. You know, we get we get that once a month. It's just, so, that's the life source. So you do that, and then that gives more of your intention within mm-hmm. your request of what you're asking the, the world? Yeah. So what did you say? Hey, universe, I really want this apartment in an Echo Park. Um, I actually did make a little sigil, like, um, have you heard of, like, chaos magic kind of sigils? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no. Sydney, I'm sorry, I'm, go- no, I'm I going haven't. in so deep right uh, now. But <laughs> no, I haven't. Okay. Let's, well. l- let's talk about <laughs> chaos sigil <laughs> magic. Okay, so basically, like, if you wanted to... Take it easy, don't get crazy in here, <laughs> but I'll give you... D- um, say you wanted a soda... <laughs> okay so that's your manifestation i, I want, want a soda. soda okay so what you do is you cross out all the vowels and then you combine the rest of the letters into like um oh dude you're doing some midsummer <laughs> <laughs> norwegian sigil magic yeah you just dude, like what are you doing right <laughs> now man relax <laughs> dude just doing some midsummer crap in here man yeah so, so you cross out 
the vowels that's 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 what i do that's what yeah <laughs> wnt so it's and then a you, wnt and then you kind of like combine them in like a pretty that's Wait, like who, an ugly you, one what but. book did you read to figure this out? what is this what is this <laughs> you asked you know but where did you learn this you learned this from somewhere where did i learn that i think my friend told me about it and then i looked it up <laughs> really okay like, oh. so do the one where you wanted the apartment. Do the exact thing you wrote. Oh, well, I don't remember the signal, but I said I get the perfect apartment. And then I, like, did the thing that I'm telling you about now. But this way, it's, like, it's in the present tense. It's, like, I've already accomplished it. And, yeah, and then I... <laughs> okay, I'm going to write one for you. You, okay. you finish it for me. We're almost there. Hold up. Don't look. <laughs> Read it out loud. <laughs> <laughs> it's not really a manifestation, but I love it. Um, it says Brad Pitt. <laughs> and then finish the sigil. <laughs> Brad Pitt. Um, do, you, do you want anything from this man? No, that's for you, <laughs> Brad Pitt. <laughs> I have a girlfriend. That's for you, Brad oh, Pitt. Oh, I'm good. Thank you. <laughs> Brad Pitt? No? That's a pass for me, truly. Okay. <laughs> but hold up. Thanks me, for let's the just hypothetic, Let's hop in, hypothetically do Brad Pitt. <laughs> Okay. So it'd be this. It'd be B. And then yeah. So then you'll. It would be you know. B R. It would be B R D P T T. Mm -hmm. And then, so I'm sure a lot of women <laughs> have done this and buried this one. Yeah. The Brad Pitt. They're writing one. Stevie Weeby. <laughs> no, no, they haven't done that. They haven't done that, and don't do that. They haven't done that. So <laughs> this works. Um, you know who's to say really? But, but where did so? The, what's the name of this? If this is chaos? I, yeah, I think it's called chaos magic. It's it's basically like the point of the sigil is like again like getting out of your like rational mind and like creating a symbol that rep represents like what you want, but not in the literal rational sense. Really? Yeah. But what makes it chaotic? Um, I actually, actually, that's a really good oh, question. Oh, because you're crossing all the Because you're like, oh, <laughs> it's chaos <laughs> on the paper. <laughs> No, be honest. Have you done that with anything else in your life? Um, only with chaos magic with sigils. Only with very positive wishes in my own life. Give me another example that actually came to fruition. Well, this hasn't come to fruition yet, but I did. I did a little love spell at the beginning of the year, and I hope it works. <laughs> oh no, you did. <laughs> you did, didn't you? You did, didn't you? <laughs> well, we know it's not Brad Pitt. <laughs> I know who it is. Leonardo DiCaprio, <laughs> eat your heart out. Sydney is a coming for you. Right? How did you know? Can I? I'm going to throw a couple out there and we're going to plug your podcast and all your socials. Oh, yeah, the podcast. I'm going to throw a few out there. Jared Leto. Jared Leto? Why do you want me to get murdered by an actor oh, sorry, so sorry. bad? Um, <laughs> Tom Hardy. I don't like actors. You don't? Mm -mm. I think they're kind of kooky and crazy. Who's the least? Steve Irwin. <laughs> That's why. <Urkel>? My... <laughs> no, he's the crocodile hunter. Oh, sorry. I thought, I thought it was Urkel. Sorry. The crocodile hunter. Hey, rest in peace. He died, though. Too soon. Yeah. Oh, I think I'm feeling out your vibe there. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's more <laughs> your cup of tea. Yeah. <laughs> Steve right. More, more adventurous. Yeah. <laughs> so no actors for you. Um, it's a pass for me. That's a, you've been there. Done. You're just moved on. Yeah. Not your type. No. Okay. Let's. The hour has passed. Wow. Hopefully the rain has pa died down. It sounds maybe. I'm hopeful. I don't hear it. Let's hope. Let's. How does one best support Sydney Summers and Online Forever Pod? How do let's let's let, let's like really plug that. Go wow. ahead. Thank you so much. Yeah, we're Online Forever Pod on all platforms: YouTube, Spotify, Apple Music, etc. And my website is sydneysummers.com. It's s i d n e y summers.com, and you can find the podcast and all of my socials and whatnot there. So, yeah. That's it. No, no merch. Oh, merch is coming. This year, it will be available. So where do they go in the future to find all that good news? Uh, just follow the Online Forever Pod socials or me. Follow <laughs> all that. Do it. Okay. Dude, that was sick. Wow, that was so, I feel chaos, so exposed. Chaos, chaos sigils. <laughs>
<laughs> you learn something every day. Yeah, I hope you use it to only do good. I don't know. I'm scared good. of that. I got to do more research. I want to know fair. where it's derived from. I don't mm-hmm. want to just you know dive I mean? in. Yeah. Absolutely. I don't you're know. You're Virgo, you know? You got to do the Is research. Is that a part of the, Yeah, you're right. We, we're, <laughs> you're right. You're right. Virgos are like that. We got to know everything. Thanks for tuning to another podcast of Steve Weeby Show. If you want to help support sorry, the bubblies. Yeah. Support the podcast. Patreon.com slash Stevie Weeby. Oh, my newest my newest music project, Pure Eternos, is going to be on all music platforms, not just Bandcamp, in a few weeks. Okay? So look out for it on Spotify, iTunes, and look out for the tapes. Tapes are coming real soon. Okay? Cassette tapes are coming real soon. I'll let y'all know. Um, Instagram.com slash Q-U-A-N-G-O-U. Um, hey, that was awesome. You're awesome. And definitely um, s- <laughs> tune into the Online Forever pod. Nice to hang out. Take a shot.